Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 34. In this video, we learn orthogonal complement definition and its properties. Let us see the definition first. Let capital H be a Hilbert space. Let capital H be a Hilbert space. And take any two vectors x comma y belongs to capital H. Then x is said to be then x is said to be orthogonal to y then x is said to be orthogonal to y orthogonal to y x is said to be orthogonal to y if it satisfies the condition inner product of x comma y is equals to 0 inner product of x comma y is equals to 0 and we denote this and we denote this as x perpendicular to y or x orthogonal to y this one is read as x perpendicular to y or x orthogonal to y it means it means x orthogonal to y means the inner product of x comma y is equals to 0 two vectors are said to be orthogonal to each other if their inner product is zero if their inner product is zero let us see some properties these properties are very very important let us see the first one first one x perpendicular to y implies and implied by y perpendicular to x x perpendicular to y implies and implied by y perpendicular to x <coughs> we prove every property let us take x perpendicular to y implies and implied by inner product of x comma y is equals to 0 implies and implied by conjugate of inner product of x comma y is equals to 0 implies and implied by inner product of y comma x is equals to 0 implies and implied by y is perpendicular to x y is perpendicular to x that's it this is the first property and this relation of orthogonality in h is symmetric therefore this relation of orthogonality this relation of orthogonality in the hilbert space capital h is symmetric is symmetric so remember that the the relationship of orthogonality between any two vectors is always symmetric now go for second property x perpendicular to 0 for all x belongs to capital h for all x belongs to capital h so what it means inner product of x comma 0 is equals to 0 or inner product of any vector with respect to zero vector is zero it means zero vector is perpendicular to every vector zero vector is orthogonal to orthogonal to every vector zero vector is orthogonal to every vector x belongs to capital h now go for third condition now go for third condition 0 is the only vector in H. 0 is the only vector in capital H. 0 is the only vector in capital H which is orthogonal to itself. Which is orthogonal to which is orthogonal to itself. Self orthogonal element. 0 is the only vector 0 is the only vector in the Hilbert space capital H which is orthogonal to itself which is orthogonal to itself suppose if possible there, well, let us assume that if possible if possible x be any vector x be any vector which is orthogonal to itself which is orthogonal to itself suppose let us assume that we said that 0 is the only vector is orthogonal to itself we assume that x is a vector which is orthogonal to itself it means 
x is perpendicular to x it means inner product of x comma x is equals to 0 it means norm x square is equals to 0 what implies is norm x is equals to 0 implies as x equal to 0 therefore x is perpendicular to x implies and implied by x is equals to 0 this condition shows us 0 is the only vector perpendicular to or orthogonal to itself so right now we go for fourth property property number four right if x is perpendicular to y or orthogonal to y x is orthogonal to y or x is perpendicular to y then norm x plus y whole square is equals to norm x minus y whole square is equals to norm x square plus norm y square very very important one very very important one let us prove this the given that x is perpendicular to y x is orthogonal to y it means inner product of x comma y is equals to zero and also inner product of y comma x is also equivalent to zero now calculate norm x plus y whole square this is nothing but x plus inner product of x plus y comma x plus y you can write like this inner product of x comma x plus y plus inner product of y comma x plus y split the inner product inner product of x comma x plus inner product of x comma y plus inner product of y comma x plus inner product of y comma y here you see that inner product of x comma y is zero inner product of inner product of y comma x is zero so this term zero and this term is also zero the middle two terms becomes zero and inner product of x comma x inner product of x comma x this term inner product of x comma x that can be written as norm x square and inner product of y comma y that term can be written as norm y square therefore we conclude that norm x plus y whole square is equals to norm x square plus norm y square whenever x is orthogonal to y whenever x is orthogonal to y similarly norm x minus y whole square is also equivalent to norm x square plus norm y square that's it this is the fourth property of orthogonal set also remember that this is known as pythagorean theorem in hilbert space these two conditions are known as pythagorean theorem pythagorean theorem in hilbert space remember that now we go for one more important definition <coughs> let us see let us try to understand this definition after we learn after this we learn orthogonal complement a vector x is said to be a vector x is said to be orthogonal to orthogonal to a non empty a non empty subset capital s of the hilbert space h if if that x is perpendicular to y for every for every y in capital s you have to understand this there is a vector x and it is said to be orthogonal to a non empty subset remember that x is an element and s is a set the if it satisfies the condition x is orthogonal to y for every y in capital s for every y in capital s and we write it as and we write it as x perpendicular to s if x perpendicular to y for all y belongs to for every y belongs to s right now we go for one more important definition which is known as orthogonal complement of a set orthogonal 
complement of a set orthogonal complement of a set please wait orthogonal complement of a set <coughs> let capital s be a non empty set let capital s be a non empty subset of a hilbert space capital h s is a non empty subset of a hilbert space capital h the orthogonal complement the orthogonal complement of capital s the orthogonal complement of capital s written as written as s like this s orthogonal complement and read as s perpendicular this is read as and read as s perpendicular this is read as s perpendicular the orthogonal complement of s is written as s power this symbol and it read as s perpendicular and defined as and defined as s perpendicular is equals to x belongs to h such that x perpendicular to y for all y for all y belongs to s that is you have to understand like this s perpendicular is the set of the set of all vectors the set of all vectors in capital h which are which are orthogonal to which are orthogonal to every vector which are orthogonal to every vector in capital s in capital s very very important definition remember that this can be read as s perpendicular this can be read as s perpendicular and it is the set of all elements taken from hilbert space which are perpendicular to every element of s which are perpendicular to every element of s that is you have to understand like this suppose an element alpha belongs to s perpendicular means this alpha is perpendicular to y for every y belongs to s for every y belongs to s that's it this is the definition of orthogonal complement of a set orthogonal complement of a set uh, let us extend this and i can explain more in this topic s perpendicular is equals to x belongs to h such that x is orthogonal x is orthogonal to capital s which is equals to x belongs to capital h such that x perpendicular to y for all y belongs to s which is equals to x belongs to h such that inner product of x comma y is equals to 0 for all y belongs to s right you have to understand this this definition is very very important in the next coming theorems this will be very useful to us so learn this definition carefully so we go for one more property that one i think fifth one uh, zero complement zero complement is equals to hilbert space zero complement is equals to hilbert space capital h uh, let us take an element let us take an element x belongs to capital h and we know that inner product of x comma 0 is equals to 0 it means this x belongs to 0 complement right this x belongs to 0 complement therefore x belongs to capital h implies as x belongs to 0 complement this condition implies as h is subset to 0 complement h is subset to 0 complement but trivially always trivially always zero complement is subset to h 
zero complement is subset to h now you observe both these conditions h subset to zero complement zero complement subset to h combining these two conditions we have zero complement is equals to set zero complement is equals to capital h that's it we go for next property and very very important property again h complement h complement is equals to set zero h complement is equals to set zero important property again for two marks let us take an element x belongs to h complement which means x is perpendicular to h which means x is perpendicular to y for all y belongs to capital h which means x is perpendicular to x for all y is equals to x which means inner product of x comma x is equals to 0 implies norm x square is equals to 0 implies norm x is equals to 0 implies x equal to 0 implies this x belongs to set 0 therefore we take that x belongs to h complement implies the same x belongs to set 0 therefore we conclude that h complement is subset to set 0 h complement is subset to set 0 now let it be equation number 1 now take an element x belongs to no, now take an element 0 always belongs to Hilbert space 0 always belongs to Hilbert space h so 0 belongs to h and we know that 0 is a self orthogonal element 0 is perpendicular to 0 it means inner product of 0 comma 0 is also 0 it means 0 belongs to h orthogonal complement h complement it means z0 is subset to h complement z0 is subset to h complement let it be equation number 2 now you see equation 1 and equation 2 in equation 1 we have h complement is a subset to 0 in equation 2 we have z0 is subset to h complement so from equations 1 and 2 from equations 1 and 2 we conclude that h complement is equals to 0 h complement is equals to set 0 so important property in the next video we learn three more properties of the orthogonal complements keep learning wish you all the best